G'day and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to make some tooling for my press brake in order to make me bend smaller radius. As it stands now, if I form a circular shape on this press brake, in a lot of cases I've got to try and, and make the fold go downwards to clear the jack. The minimum size of the diameter that I'm able to fold is determined by the bulk of this. So I've got to make something, I guess, to, to get the punch and the die away from this. So I've got something in mind. Let's see how we go. So that's a new beam fabricated. You'll see it's a lot smaller than the beam that the jack sits on and uh, I'm just trying to keep the profile of the punch assembly as small as possible so I can bend uh, smaller radius sections. So I'm just going to make up a bit of flat bar that bolts to the bottom of this beam and uh, to that I'm just going to weld a bit of 25mm square section which is then going to be acting on this. It will be fastened to this with a pin so they can be removed just so if you let's say you form a cylinder that wraps around this you need to be able to get the thing out. What I also thought of doing uh, rather than having this open end pushing down on that I'm just going to weld a bit of flat bar to the end of these that way um, you sort of spread the force over a bigger area. Okay, so the new beam has been fabricated. The punch has been bolted to it. You'll see either end we got the guides. Then I've just welded a couple of tabs to it here. And that's where the other bit for it is going to be pressing down on these. I'll just bring that over. Here's a bit that bolts to the jack beam. And basically that's going to be pushing down on it like so and then I'll just put a couple of pins or bolts or something in there that's pretty much it I haven't painted this yet because I just want to test it out first just in case there's a little bit too much deflection in this um, this is 40 by 40 by 3 mil with it being 3 mil thick it, it is quite sturdy it is quite strong any which way the punch is 65 by 6 and I don't think we're going to get any deflection out of this. But you never know, so I thought before I paint it, I should probably just take it for a test run. Let's see how it works out. Alright, there you can see, it's working quite well. I'm uh, able to bend quite a small radiuses compared to what I used to be able to. I did bend it a little bit further and uh, it's really tightened up the radius, but it's just a test, it's just a trial to see if this works. And you can clearly see here that, uh, yeah, it works quite well. So 
So I've just got to remove this so that I can get it out. I quite possibly could have made these removable, but anyway, I didn't. Get that out of the way. And then we're able to remove this. And then we can remove the uh, piece of metal that we've been bending. Rightio, it's all been painted with an epoxy enamel machinery grey to match the stops. So what I did here, rather than making pins, I just grabbed a socket cap head screw and uh, cut the end off. A lot less work. And on the back of it, I just drilled a hole for an R-clip. To make sure that the uh, guides travel up and down nice and smoothly without the thing wobbling around and scratching the paint, um, I just stuck in some felt pads and uh, yeah, that seems to be working quite well. So when I bend up this bit of sheet metal here, I just uh, checked it on the deflection across here. I basically just placed a steel rule along the top here and there was no deflection. So I was quite, quite happy with that. So I was then prepared to paint this. So now that it's painted, I haven't tried this on any thicker metals. So I thought I might try with a bit of um, five mil thick flat. I think this is um, 32 by five mil. Might just bump this in here, like so. We'll give it a go. See whether we get any deflection across this and uh, hopefully we won't. All right, here goes. Let's check it out. Okay, that's just a tiny bit of deflection there. Less than a mil. That's not too bad. I was actually hoping for zero deflection. But anyway, uh, look, I, I didn't make this uh, to be bending flat bar and stuff. Uh, I really made this for bending sheet metal. Rightio, well that definitely seems to do the job. And um, this was actually quite easy to make. And uh, you could quite easily adopt this to uh, any run of the mill workshop press. Uh, thereby, um, yeah, it will make it so much more versatile. Okay, well, I think uh, that probably wraps this one up. Yeah, hopefully this has been useful to some of you. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching.